I'm here for it. I'm here. Your excitement is uh, is refreshing. <laughs> just to, I mean, you just like like a ball of energy, and I love it. I, I really, I really love it. And so, so talk about talk about the name of your podcast, and then break it down for us. Just like you know, what can we expect to hear on on, on your show and everything like yeah, that? Yeah. So um, I'm terrible at names. Terrible. So I knew what I like. I knew what I wanted it to be about, and what I want to talk about. I was like, okay, I want to do sports. I'm doing it because of this, this, that. And I text one of my good friends, Jason Mason, um, and Jason's like a writer, more creative person in a literature, a different way. And I text him and I was like, Jason, I need help with a name. And he was like, okay, like, what do you, what do you, you want the podcast to be about? I'm like, okay, well, like I'm starting, I want to talk about sports. I want to have controversial conversations. I want to have, you know, conversations about general things with sports. I'm like, I am a woman. I want to host it by myself. A lot of the top sports podcasts I listen to don't have women who are leading it. So that's the gist. He was like, okay, um, let me think of something. I'm gonna come back to you. I was like, cool. So I was getting it, other things together and he had texted me and was like, okay, these are a couple options. He sent me four or five. And the two that stood out to me was make it make sense. And you're wrong, sir. And I was like, Ooh, make it make sense. Like, I like that one. And that was my one. And I was like, Hmm, wait, and through my research, I had seen, like, you want something that's kind of different than what other people have, especially because I'm starting and this is new. I looked up Make It Make Sense, so I have a podcast and everybody had the name. And I was like, okay, so I can't use that because, like, I'm not that well versed within this and I need people to automatically have my stuff come up when they look for it. So I was like, okay. And I'm thinking and I'm like, you're wrong, sir. That's a little aggressive. And I was like, it was the first thing I was saying, I'm like, that's aggressive. And I'm thinking, and I'm like, I asked like other people's opinion, like, what do you think about this? And they were like, I like that. And I'm like, okay. So it started, you know, growing on me. And then at that point, I was like, this aligns perfectly with what I want to talk about and who I wanted to represent. Um, and so for me, you're wrong, sir. It's kind of like a pun. And I think a lot of people always tell me like, oh, I love your podcast name. And so the first thing that I wanted to do is catch your attention. Like, you may not know who I am, but you may see your wrong, sir, and be like, what is she talking about? You know, and it can make you mad or it can be like, oh, yeah, like, let me tune in. But you're probably going to look because I made you feel some type of emotion. And so um, for me, it's kind of defying. There was some advice that I got from somebody named Noah. And she told me a lot of women are going to be like, hey, you know, I'm a woman within sports and this is so male dominated. And honestly, like after a while, that gets played out. OK, so you're a woman. All right, cool. But why should I hire you? Why should I listen to you? How do you stand out within this industry? And that was like some of the greatest advice she gave me because she said that you need to come to people, right, when they underestimate you and give them and know things that they would not expect you to know. And so I was like, okay, like this is what I want to talk about. Like being a little girl growing up, being a basketball player, you know, as a girl, it's like, are you who? Yeah, who? Play my son. Let me see if you can really who. And little things like that. And you always have to get compared to other males and continuously prove yourself. And so for me, it's like, you're wrong. Like, I can do this. I'm knowledgeable. We can dominate this industry also. And, and it's just really a message, too. So, yeah. 